Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a monthly favourites video. I'm also going to chuck in there, just to mix things up a little bit, a few new products. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. The reason that I decided to mix the monthly favourites with new products I've purchased this month is because I have purchased a few products this month, but not enough to make a whole video on. And also, some of the things that I've been loving are the things that I've literally bought this week um, or recently. So yeah, I wanted to throw them in there as well and just do something a little bit different. So first of all, um, these are mainly beauty products, but I have got chucked in a couple of other favourites as well. So firstly, I am going to do my new products. I bought this. Now this is something that I haven't had the opportunity to use yet. It's from the brand Cordelli. I always think of Desi Perkins when I say that because she goes Cordelli, Cordelli, and it makes me laugh. But anyway, it's from Cordelli um, and it is their cleansing, their gentle cleansing milk. So it's a sweet almond and corn flour. I don't know about you, but that just sounds so appealing to me. It sounds natural and gentle on the skin and cute. It sounds cute. I love the packaging. It's that matte finish. I just think it makes it that little bit more suave. Um, it says on the back that it's for all skin types, which is a little bit different for me. I normally go for things that are kind of pushed for people with specifically dried sensitive skin. This was, you know, marked as gentle, so I thought I'd go for it anyway. It claims to remove makeup from the face and eyes. It's dermalog dermalog dermatologist tested and ophthalmologist tested, you know, that one. It's non com common uh, All these long words, I can't say it, but you know what I mean. It's that. It's also a company that is against animal testing, which is quite cool as well and is always a bonus with products. I know that this is a bit more of a pricier brand. I feel like they're quite well known. So yeah, very reputable and I am kind of expecting big things from this. The next new product of the month is this. So this is the EX1 Cosmetics Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. Very well known across the beauty community on YouTube. So many celebrities also wear this foundation. It's a real cult favourite. I got mine in the shade 2.0. I had this in 3.0 before and it was just too dark for me. So now I've got it in 2 and it's honestly like a exact skin match. I wore it for the second time today. I wore it yesterday but that was just trying it out and today was the first time that I really wore it and I think it looks pretty beautiful on the skin. It's not the most heavy coverage but it covers enough for day-to-day -day wear. I almost think it's like the perfect foundation for day-to-day. -day. It says on the back that it's non-plore... plore. That it's non-pore clogging so that's probably really good for people with oily skin as well. I don't know but I have dry skin and it works real well for me. Um, I have noticed, noticed a couple of it sort of around my dry patches at the moment, but my skin is really dry. So I'm going to try this one with a beauty blender. It applies real well with a beauty blender. And I think I paid about £12.99 for it. I was going to do a first impressions on it, but then I thought, mm, it's not really a first impressions because I've had it for a long time. I've just had the wrong shade. And then the next product that I recently purchased was from Aven, uh, the skincare brand. Now, this still counts as a beauty product, I guess. It is their Soothing Eye Contour Cream. It is for sensitive eyes, so that definitely stood out to me. And it was very affordable. It was only about £7, which isn't much at all. But I did get it out of the container earlier to look at it, and it's pretty tiny. It's pretty tiddly. But that is okay. I would, you know, rather that and not... If it doesn't work for me, then I'm not going to waste much. An eye cream's an eye cream, but I can't wait to try that out too. <laughs> so now moving on to the things that I've been loving this month, I am going to go straight in with a lipstick. It is the Kate by Rimmel London lipstick, and it is in the shade 55 My Nude. And I've tried them on in the shop, and this is a beautiful colour. It's got great packaging as well, by the way. It's like a rose gold, if you can see. And yeah, I'll just swatch it on the back of my hand for you, actually, so you can see sort of the colour of it. That's the colour just there. So yeah, it's a really nice like pinky browny nude. It's quite a deep tone. It would look beautiful on darker skin tones. It's a little bit too dark on me to really be my true nude, but it works and yeah, I really like it. It's very moisturising too, which is always handy for a nude. Just saying. Something else I have been rather digging this month are the Maybelline colour tattoos. Now I've seen these raved about so many times before and you just sometimes buy products because people say that they're really good. <laughs> so I've kind of gave in to the hype and I purchased um, On and On Bronze a few weeks back now. I've used this quite a lot. Um, in fact, I've probably had this a couple of months and 
it's definitely worthy of being in my category of products I've been loving this month because I've used this nearly every day. It's what I've got on my eyes today. It's what I've been wearing on my eyes to work. It's so easy because it's a cream shadow to just dip your finger in and rub it on. I just chuck a little bit of bronzer in my crease and that is it, I'm good to go. It's so simple, it's so easy and it's such a cheap product. I think I paid about seven pound for this, don't quote me, but seven pound for something that lasts such a long time. A little bit goes a long way, three dabs and I'm done. This is gonna last me such a long time and it lasts all day. I haven't tried any of the MAC paint pots, so a little disclaimer, I am not comparing them to them, but I've heard they're very comparable, and actually, I wouldn't need to try them because these do the job for me. Also, I just want to give a quick mention to 101 Breathless, which is the newest shade I purchased, also with my voucher that I got for Christmas. I will swatch this one for you on the back of my hand. I don't like this one as much as On and On Bronze, um, I'm more of a bronzy, like deeper shade kind of girl anyway, but this is quite a neutral shade, it's a little bit glittery, I've swatched it on the back of my hand but I know it won't come out on camera so I'm not going to show you, but yeah, so these two I have absolutely been loving. Next on the list of beauty products I've been loving is this. Now this is a hand cream from Soap and Glory. I love everything about the brand Soap and Glory. I feel like they're so unique, they're so quirky and kooky and fun and I that's everything I love in a brand. So they remind me a little bit of the balm like where the packaging's all really fun, they've got like funky names. So this is called hand food and it literally is hand food. It is food for your hands. So it says on the front, it's a hydrating hand cream with shea butter, macadonia, macadamia oil and marshmallow um, and it just, I've been using it on my hands and it just does the job. I can't imagine this was very expensive, it's kind of a little mini one, it came in a set that I got for Christmas I think maybe last year. Um, but yeah it smells, I'm sure I can smell lime in there, it smells very much like their body butters. It just smells quite fresh but also sweet at the same time but it's not sickly sweet, there's a there's a fresh smell in there as well somewhere too. I apply it a couple of times a day and it's been, it sinks in nicely. So yeah, next up is this little cream highlighter stick from LA Girl. I actually didn't like this when I first started using it. I was kind of putting it on my finger and using it on top of my cheekbones and it does work like that if you use enough but then it defeats the point of it being convenient and quick. So. In the end I realised I was using it all wrong and I started using it a different way and I came to love it. So this is in this month's favourites for me because it works as a brilliant inner corner highlighter for your eyes. I kind of just stick it on my finger or on a brush and then just poke it in there. And for the inner corners, because it's cream, it sets like a powder finish but rather than using the powder in the inner corner I feel like this does a better job of brightening and looking like a natural glow rather than like a powdery glow if you know what I mean. It looks much more natural, it really does open up your eyes and it just works beautifully. Mine is in the shade Radiance. Please, please, if you have this and you don't think it's working for you, dab a brush on, put it in your inner corner and it literally just, they go like that straight away. It worked really, really well for me when I tried it that way and I really like this product. Um, <laughs> the next product you'll probably laugh at me for, it's quite a simple one but it is something I've been loving. I only rediscovered it yesterday and I learned how much I'd missed this. It's just a tub of Vaseline, but it is the um, rosy lips one. So it's got a little sheer tint to it, which I think is real cute. If, you know, one day you don't want to wear lipstick because your lips are a bit chapped, you want to hydrate them, but you also want a tint. This really does the job. I've never tried baby lips. I know they have lots of different lines and selection of colours and things that you can choose from. I'm a terrible beauty YouTuber for not having used them, and I want to, but this just does the trick for me. It moisturises my lips. It looks beautiful, and yeah. I'm just going to check my camera's still recording. Bear with. I'm very nearly done. I've only got a couple more products left to do. In fact, I think this is the last beauty product. So this is from Soap and Glory also. It is a body butter. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I can smell. Yes. Mm. It smells like. I don't know. It smells real fresh. It smells almost. I think it resembles a male's aftershave, that really clean smell of a man. I think it smells like that. And I don't even care about smelling like a man because it just smells so good. And what I love about this more than the smell, it's not that really delicate like cocoa butter smell, but that's what makes it different. And I think if that's what you want, then you go for that. But for this, this has 
an interesting smell and it's it's never I feel like with soap and glory it's never like a sweet simple smell it's always quite out there and I would highly recommend these mine came in a set of three but this is the one I've been loving at the moment basically it just I use it like on my legs and arms so it makes them like shine and glow and it sinks into the skin I put it on my legs after shaving them and sometimes when you do that it can linger on your skin I can literally wait two minutes and put a pair of leggings on and it doesn't feel gross like it sinks in I mean if you touch them after a couple of minutes you can still feel that slight tackiness nothing too much it feels like my legs have drunk it all up and you it's never going to feel like there's nothing there because you have just put something on your skin but I think this is about as good as it gets it kind of just sets into the skin perfectly for me and I really like it it's an inexpensive product and I think it does the job and I think it works well so the very final product in this video is going to be something that's not a beauty related product. It is actually a book. It is called The Self Acceptance Project and it is edited by Tammy Simon. Um, it's how to be kind and compassionate towards yourself in any situation. So there's a list of authors here that have contributed to it. If you want to have a look, then please just Google the Self Acceptance Project book. It's a great book. Um, definitely have a look. It's all about teaching you unconditional self acceptance, which is something that I believe we all all need. I've been having some issues recently in my life and reading this book has really calmed me, really helped me in so many ways. I've kind of gone through and highlighted kind of sections of it that mean something to me or that I can relate to, you know, and yeah, I just think it's a great, great read. So if, you know, you're having some issues, self-esteem issues, self-acceptance issues, then please, please go pick up this book, check it out at least and have a little read. One last thing I have been loving, actually, well, it's not a product, it's a combination of products. It's the EX1 shade 3, the shade that's too dark for me, mixed with L'Oreal True Match. It looks beautiful. It gives you a pretty full coverage too. I've been really, really liking that until I got the 2, the shade 2, because my L'Oreal True Match was lighter. I mixed it with it just to get the right colour, but it made a really great consistency too. So, just a little fun fact there. So that wraps things up guys for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Let me know in the comments down below if the products that I mentioned are products that you use and you love or maybe you don't love them. I don't know. <laughs> if you've got any new products this month that you've absolutely been loving that I have not got in my pile then please do let me know because I'm always on the hunt for new things that work. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Ciao for now. See you later.